that I respect was in the river. Because when I was a kid, I didn't live in a house. I lived in a tin hut on the banks of the Barker. It's the Dala River, but to us, it's the Barker. I am a Barker Weemidja. That means I am a Darling River black person. So I was born in 47, and then the old people, they'd carved the emu egg to sell them to get food, and I was just fascinated with the colour of the emu egg. It's green, but when you take that colour away, you get another colour in it. And I just thought, well, if they can do that one day, I want to do it. So when I got about eight year old, my grandmother sort of lent me out of carb, yeah. My daddy was white and mum was black. I live in two worlds. You know, I live in the black foot of the way, I live in the white foot of the way. I got our culture, our law, and the white foot of the law. I was read up in a Catholic school. I was taught about Jesus Christ but also I was taught about Kulawar, our dream time follow. And to me, even though I mightn't be rich, but I'm rich in what I know of my culture and what the white fellas culture. Some of the wood is probably dead 50 or 60 years, you know? So I make something so I'm bringing the wood back to life. Then someone will come along and buy the piece and put it in the house and they give it a home so it's living again. I'm making for Tandandi, Nala Nala, that's a fighting club, it's for eating and for fighting and we call them Tarta Bir, that's mean a head stick. And there'll be about 28 or something, Nala Nala's big ones, small ones. That'll make the sun my dad, he fought in the Second World War. He was a soldier, and on the soldiers had that sun, you know, the half a sun. So I kept looking at that, and I'm thinking, but if I went right around, that would represent the diggers at, right? The moon, because it's a shield, that would represent my culture. Now I talk about dad, how he fought in the war. My people fought too sometimes. So I'm doing that then. The seven sisters, they we're to we're to tearing that I mean that old old sisters. So what I'm doing now, I'm getting the muscle shells to put in a gallery looking down at us and exactly like the story. There is six bright stars but one dull one. The dull one was on earth, but she kept getting in the mists all the time. So the old people sang her up in the sky. Then they sang the other six up to look after her. But they also got to look down and look after us now. I'll carve the story and I mainly focus on the bark and the ngachi, the, the birds, you know, the brolgas, nothing. I'll carve what's my culture. I don't like working inside of a building. I'd soon be outside. I love it. The river is dying in there because, you know, they're taking too much water for cotton and people getting greedy and that. Us Barkindy people, we must look after the river and try and, and, and protect it. Not try, we got to protect it because if that river die, that means me as a Barker Weemidja, I don't exist. I got no culture, I got nothing. If the Barker, is my number, I just mean that river is my mother.